With the festive season in full swing, the Msati region recorded eight incidents of crime, one of domestic violence, one case of rape, one assault and two reported unlicensed and reckless driving between the 24th and 27th of December. Hamfungu says the level of domestic violence and unlicensed driving in the Msati region remain alarming and is worrisome. And you would like the, the public out there to understand that when we are saying please don't, we mean don't do that for your own safety. Uh, even those who, who perpetrate uh, violence against women, uh, they are not only victimizing these women and children, but they are victimizing themselves as well, because what will happen? We shall arrest them. There is no negotiation about that. We shall arrest them, and then they will spend possibly the rest of their lives behind bars. Hamfungu says unlicensed drivers are the perception that traffic laws are only enforced in urban areas, thus people take chances when they go to rural areas. Take chances when they go into the rural areas, uh, on those gravel roads and even on, the, on, the, on, the, on some parts of the tarred roads. Uh, they feel that is a rural area and therefore they, there shouldn't be any law enforcement. But that's not true. Law enforcement is enforceable, or rather the law, the traffic law, uh, has to be enforced wherever you find yourself uh, within the, the boundaries of the country. He further warned the public that police and NDF patrols of the country's streets continue, cautioning citizens to refrain from all criminal activities. Once again, urging the public to realize that during the festive season, people should notice that you have more movements on the public roads and therefore you should be restrained in conducting whatever business you are busy with. Combined forces in place to maintain order into the New Year's celebrations include the Namibian Police Defense Force, the Namibian Police, the City Police, the Motor Vehicle Accident Fund and the Road Safety Council. Still, Hamfungu says, for peace and safety to truly reign, Namibians must undergo a change in mindset. The campaign will always continue, but it depends on the mindsets of the people, how receptive they are of this message. We, we, we just wish that they will realize that what we are saying is something that is to their benefit, to the benefit of their communities, their families, and themselves as individuals.